Every student in the world knows that getting back to study after a break is never easy. The guy that you are watching on the screen has been struggling about it since two days. So on the third day, he decided to vlog it so that the camera will scare him enough to study. Did it work? Let's see. It's finally the day when our motivation is back and I am going to go back to the studies that I was. But I woke up late at around 8.30 and now I am going to ARV posting at 9 o'clock. ARV posting is all about treating bites. Dog bite, cat bite, monkey bite, the list is as endless as the human stupidity. I tried to squeeze in some study between the posting but it is seen as a bad work culture here in anti-rabies clinic. So I closed the book and turned around to find something interesting. There was a chart which tells you about the rabies post exposure prophylaxis. Basically, if you think you have been injured, get a vaccine. If you see blood, get immunoglobulins as well. I got my fair share of it when I went to Mahabaleshwar. I tried to pet a cat in Mapro Garden. The cat decided to give me a parting gift with its teeth in my thumb. So my first anti-rabies vaccine was taken in the Red Cross Society Clinic in Mahabaleshwar. I am not going to stop loving cats. So I guess reading and remembering the chart is the best use of my time for future references. Inside the clinic, there is all sorts of stuff that is needed to give injections. Spirit, cotton, insulin syringe. This is used to give intradermal vaccine as well as the test dose of immunoglobulins. Vaccine is stored in the vaccine carrier so it will be served chilled straight inside both of your arms. If you get an allergy to the vaccine or immunoglobulins, we have a tray full of furosemide, atropine, adrenaline, onacetone and examinazone and other life-saving medications. Fortunately, this special service hasn't been used by any of our animal lovers yet. Still, I think it's best to read and remember the protocol just in case. After a lot of injections, my ARV posting was over for the day. If you are still confused what ARV is, please watch the video from the beginning again. The next stop for me was the medical registrar office. My sweet friends Pushkar and Pushp each got a copy of the joining form which I needed to submit in the MR office. The form basically serves as a proof that we are joining the duty here. I think that's a lot of rules for someone who is getting 360 rupees per day for a salary. Inside the MR office, our basic task was to write. We were copywriters who happened to have passed MBBS. It gives you a taste of what real life. I guess that degree doesn't matter much there as well. I'm finally done with my duty for today. It's 3 o'clock and I'm very very hungry. I'm getting out of here, going to the room, eating something. Yeah. On the way back, I stopped and had tea with my batchmate Shreya. That's one of the many habits that I picked up from Nashik. Other things include crashing a drone and giving a headshot to Aditi in PUBG. Do you want to know more about it? Let me know in the comment section. In the past few days, I wasted or rather invested enough time in myself and my mental health and stuff. So right now, it's time to study. Let's have lunch quickly. Prepare for the lecture that I am going to take at Arun's place in the evening and then start studying PSM, Community Medicine. Posting hai, to wahi padta hai. Let's do it as fast as we can because it's time ho gaya hai. My target was finishing it all on 7 January and I guess 93 days are left. Band baji padi hai. Anuj brought up the idea on the last day of our trip that we have won the surgery quiz, so we know something or the other in surgery. So why not try to teach them to our juniors? So here I was scraping through all the books I had to teach hydrocin. My own notes, daily and love, Manipal manual of surgery, Vipul Yagnik operative manual of surgery. I used all the books that I had to create the master notes for teaching. My strategy was simple. First, give an overview about the topic in one page just enough that they will pass the exam. Next, tell them about the history taking and case presentation for the VIVA, including all the extra points that were necessary to score a gold medal. Lastly, teach them everything about the patient management including diagnosis, treatment and surgeries, including the surgical steps. All that's left was to actually do the operation. I think that would be too much for my students right now. the best for the lecture today. Hydrocerine surgery is really 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 important topic so I'm going to use everything that I have to make notes of this topic. That is my own notes from surgery, Bailey and Love, Clinical Surgery by Manipal and Operating Manual of Surgery for checking the surgeries for hydrocerine. That's a lot. 
Once I was done reading and making notes about the data, it was time to create an interesting PowerPoint presentation. This is the amount of time and efforts it takes to prepare one topic. Hats off to the teachers who teach the whole subject. It's almost 7 o'clock and finally my preparation for the lecture is done. Today is going to be amazing. I'll get ready and go to Anu's home and take the lecture. See ya. I'm well prepared with all the notes. I read the topic at least thrice and I think I'm ready to rock the show. By the time I reached Anuj's home, he was at the end of his topic, which was hernia. Anuj is a great teacher and matching his level is the next hurdle that I will have to cross. With a lot of anticipation, I started my class. It was well received by the students and I think I should do it more and more. The class was over by 9 o'clock. Later in the night, we went on a little car ride around the Nashik. Our final destination was the tea stall. Thank you, Nashik. So I came back, I had my dinner, I went out again, I had my tea and now we are ready for studying. To be honest, at this moment, I do not wish to study community medicine. So how about doing some anatomy instead? You know, an easy going subject that solve a few portion banks up until 12, 12, 15. An hour of anatomy is good for the health and it's good for the sleep as well. Let's get started. Here's the notebook. Here we go. I tried studying. I really tried, but I was far too tired. My eyes were reading, but my brain had given up. I was feeling feverish and started sneezing. I took it as a sign from the god to stop studying and take a good night's sleep. I know studying is important and this exam is going to decide the next 40 years of my life. But we all have slow days, right? Okay, it's 12 o'clock and I think I finished half of thorax anatomy. It's not a great progress, but it's still progress. I think I should sleep now. The toy of the day is taking over. Good night, sweet dreams. See you in the next video. We all have those off days when we feel tired and uninspired. Like the ocean, stillness is another of our natural states. The winds will return again, the waves will rise again, and my motivation will flow again. But up until then, in this moonless night, I will rest my weapons and go gently into the calm of the night. See you in the next video. This is Abhijit signing out.